Sasha Stefanovic, leading three-point shooter in the Big Ten. They get it inside to Williams. And knocked around, nearly goes in, and then it is tipped in by Travion Williams. Now a steal. And the jam by Myron Jones, and that is what Penn State will do to you. Again, a team that leads the Big Ten. And to the, to the guard who's, who has the ball to get both hands on the ball before they take it. It's a double team for a longer time period instead of just that. Stefanovic hits the layup. One does not go, and here comes Penn State on the run. Brockington had it blocked away by Aaron Wheeler. Tremendous athlete, his team on the freak athlete from the entry pass there. And Williams knocked away by Lundy. Great recovery there by, and nearly lose it. Dredd and Stefanovic go to the floor. Sessoms gets the roll. Really hard to get back in the game. Well, look, Penn State shooting 22% and they're within five. Make it within seven as Newman hits on the drive there. Jones has it blocked away by the freshman Edie. Aaron Jones for three and he drains it. And there it is. Mari Wheeler. Now Lundy for the lead. Got it. First points of the game for Seth Lundy, an 8-0 run here for the Nittany Lions. Stefanovic, the leading three-point shooter by percentage in the Big Ten, ends that, and there you have it. They want to get a shot with five so they can still get the offensive rebound. They're not going to get either. Well, got totally disrupted. Gillis going to have to throw it up, and he hits it. Oh. A backbreaker there for Penn State after a fabulous defensive set coach. Well defended by Hera, holding him off there as the shot clock's at five. And Gillis hitting the three, hit one just before the half and hits another one there. So Mason Gillis and cut off there by Penn State. Newman hanging in the air and hitting. You want to pass it to the guys in the, the guys in black. You want to pass it to. It comes down to the fundamentals sometimes. It, it was right on target though for the other team. As Williams hits inside, eight points now. First points of the second half. We we started with C.J. Lee, a, a point guard at the four man, just so we could enter offense. And he said we just felt that we needed to have more skills, more shooting. And sometimes we didn't get quickness with that. See how they're able to handle that balancing act after the second foul on Brockington, and they fall asleep on the inbounds pass. Beautifully done for Stefanovic. Uh, those are not those are not great shots. Just step back, shoot a step back jump shot. Don't shoot a two. There's a three shoot for like Stefanovic. <laughs> yes, there's a prime example of what you want. But either way, the the point remains. That is a really big shot for Penn State. They needed that coach. Really, really needed it. Just say, hey, listen, this we're gonna make Buttrick make a bunch of threes. Great steal, and that's what Penn State. What defense? Yeah, beautifully done there by Newman. I love Sessoms. I would rather have him shoot the first three instead of the step back three after that. And then Stefanovic hits the three and draws the foul. 13 now for Stefanovic. Harris into double figures for the second time this year. Here's Brockington. Tracks down his rebound and throws down the jam. And here comes Purdue the other way. Hunter's got a man behind him in dread, but nice job to take it into the lane and lay it in. In the corner now, Myron Jones, that doesn't go. Hara missed the easy layup, gets it back, draws the foul, and hits. There's Williams, double team coming. Williams weaving his way through. That is a tough bucket. There is very, very Spike Albrecht, also crown point. <laughs> National championship game would be hero, Spike Albrecht. Three pointer there. Finals, final four players with our producer. So the fact that you only talked to Bart once on the air, that's a win for you. It was wonderful to work with you, Coach Beeline. Purdue gets this win by the final of 82-72.